Hello everybody and welcome to a new video. I'm Urbex with Jake and I'm joined by Dan the Urbex man who is on camera. You like guys? He's filming and today we are at this abandoned water tower in School Cliff. We're going to be um, trying to show you what we can. Unfortunately there's no access because there's a big board here that looks like someone's kicking it. Alright guys, sorry for the echoing, but this is the water tower I'm in that window where uh, I'm next with Dan um, pointed the camera. Um, this is basically what's inside. Um, I've got hold of my phone on a thing so I have to be very steady, I don't want it to go in because I cannot get it out. Um, very dark, there's a ladder, it goes all the way up. Hang on. There's a ladder that goes all the way up there, and then up there, that goes all the way up to the top of the roof of the tower, and then inside where this round bit extends, this is where the water was collected and stored. So this is where I was here was stood. There was a board on here which someone has ripped off. It looks like it's been off for a little while now. And um, that's the inside, so there's not much to see in there, but quite echoey, it's quite spooky. But um try and show you it the best I can. You know, that's, you know, you can see the top of the ladder there where the hole is, it goes further up. So that's the interior. Now, we're gonna be talking about the history of the place. So why is this here, you probably ask. So we will tell you why it's here. All right, so now the history. So where we stood right now, this was the main entrance. So the water tower was built, I would say, around the 1940s, and it was built for Aircliffe Hospital, because over that side of the road, is there a new housing estate called the Chestnuts? And that is where Aircliffe Hospital used to stand. And that was our hospital that day from, I think, 1945, around some time. But I've been even older, maybe in the 30s, and really sometime in the early 1900s. for I would say at least 40 years. So this building right here, this water tower, I would say it's about, um, oof, I would say 1940, 80, I would say it's about 80 year old, which is very, very old and it's quite, as I say, it's just a stone, you know, a stone building, you know, as I say, it's, as I say, I've never been here since around the 70s, 80s, and of course, that's just what's left in there, just the ladder. There's not much to show you inside, 
I'm afraid, but we can't get in. But the times we've been before, even that was shut. So someone's obviously got that off thinking they'll try and get in. But there's no way on earth anyone can get in there. I mean, look, you try and squeeze through there, then obviously how are you going to get back out? But that's the ladder, and it went straight up to the top. And then you've got another ladder coming down in here. So, that was, as I say, that's pretty much was it. And obviously it would have had underground and it would have had all the pipes and the water supply all the way down to the hospital. So that is the abandoned School Lakeliff Water Tower and a brief history of uh, why it's here and what it served as a purpose for. So that this was another video from Exploring the Unknown. Stay tuned for more. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter and also don't forget to follow us on Instagram and we will see you in the next video when we're planning our next explore. So stay tuned, stay safe and thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you'll be notified every time we upload. Thanks for watching, stay safe, have a good one guys, peace.